Oh, doing all right? Please, please. Yeah, man, good to have you back in the building, man. You know what I mean? Always, always an honor, man. Always an honor. You're always a, a specially invited guest, man. Just want to let you know that, man. Right. Well, I always appreciate it, man. I hope I can continue bringing light to uh, thought and interactions. Yes, yes. Yeah, the, the, the build of the night, man, that was, that was uh, powerful. I was uh, going over my notes and whatnot, and I was like, okay, it's, it's a lot, but I'm, you know, I know that you, you you make things really plain, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, because I've I've come across this information from different um people and things of that nature, but like they like I said, a lot of them may be like on some commerce type stuff and stuff like that. But um, I mean, and and, and this can be a a commercial thing, but uh, more so that um, it's not just strictly on that. You know what I mean? It's not just strictly right. On that. One of the things that I came to realize is that when I started signing UCC 1-308, it was because I'd done my research. And in my research, 1-308 comes from the old 1-207. And in the old 1-207, it specifically says, other like wording, and in that same 1-207, it says the law is to be uniform throughout all jurisdictions. Well, when we look at that, that means that each and every one of the jurisdictions gets their law from the higher jurisdiction. And what is the highest jurisdiction? The law of nature and nature's God. Whatever God you follow whether you're a man or a rabbit or a fish something in your life instinctual tells you that something is already set before you and you have a plan of things to do a rabbit gets hungry it knows what to do it gets thirsty it knows what to do in so doing that it has to observe the world around itself and make its own discretion because it has no language specifically even a written language let alone any other kind of communication from its own kind that says, hey, you got to eat this other than visual by seeing them do the same thing. Actions speak louder than words. So in our observance of seeing what other things do in their lives, we can adopt those same methods in our lives. And we show this throughout history. This is how man learns is by adopting other things that we see. We made fishing nets because we saw how spider webs caught insects. Mm. Clean <laughs> from watching the bird. You know, yes. The bird fly. That, that, that was a good one. I never thought about that though. The spider web. So we have to make sure. And you wanted to go over that the the yes, convention sir. stuff. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So I'm, uh, um, yeah, I, I sent the what you call it to your thing. I don't know if you got a chance to like kind of uh, go over it some. Well, I'm kind of familiar with it already. But oh, the okay. basics is that you have to remember that everything that they write now, and just like it shows you in that instrument, it is in fact an instrument by the term contract. And it starts out with each contract party. Right, right. So you can adopt it and make an amendment without commercial use. So therefore, it's not a contracting party. Each party in agreement. So you line out and through it. Cross it out, put each party in agreement without commercial use. King King was calling in. Um you wanna add on or you wanna finish this up? You wanna finish this up for now and then maybe uh add on later? Say what? I was asking if you wanted to finish this up now and then um bring him in later. Hello? Please, please. Oh yeah, we can bring bring him in now. Yeah, I'm open right. to everything, Please. brother. What's going on, G?
Um, I guess that's why by email. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably why. That's you know maybe um maybe you probably send them one at a time. Maybe like if it's three parts to it, maybe send one. You know what I mean? And then um. Um, or father, I'm I'm actually I'm I'm going to what you call right now with uh with Keith. We're going over the um the certificate uh certificate of uh wealth certificate of international wealth. I'm on the now I'm on the um on the meet. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. I'm um, I'm gonna send you the link. Um, if you got your what you call ready, we're about to go into uh basically we you know doing the document and whatnot. So you want to pull your um pull your thing up. <clears throat> All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna send him the link, and then um, you know, he'll, he'll come in in a moment. Um, right. But yeah, I'm gonna pull up my uh, pull up the doc, pull up the document. All right, so uh, all right, <clears throat> I'm about to pull up the uh, pull up the article itself. Let me just go through it and then. Um... Please, please. Please, please. Hey. Hey, what's going on, Keith? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, brother. I got this lady. Have you ever heard of Miss Teagle? Some my one of my guys that I'm working with, he sent me her information and she actually posted transferred her credits. And she was explaining to how she went to Social Security, how she used the back of the post thing. I'm trying to get it to Lord L. I've just got to figure out how to get this zip draft because it's large. And that she actually got the, all her credits. So she said she she said the you got to match the name. Uh, the with the living trust, you got to take the lower caps and the all caps name and lower arrange them, and then you have to um set up that. She said she went to probate court and got her court her case open is is open. Once she did all of that, she said you go down to the UP to the post office on the on a green card or some on the white slip, you, you fill out everything and deposit everything into the. You 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 have, you have a um you have a contact you able to like speak with her. No, my guy just gave me the stuff, so oh, I guess, okay. I'm gonna try to send. Well, to I was say, if, if he's able, if, if he's able to contact her, then like you know maybe she can share the documentation or or you know or maybe she talks about it in her in her thing or whatever, but um. You know, if anything, I you know I'll give a listen to it, you know, later or whatever. But um, right now we about to go into this right here, the convention, uh, the v convention providing a uniform law on forms of international will. Um, so I'm I'm gonna actually start. Um, I don't know, Keith, you wanna you wanna like y'all wanna just like 
read, like, I'm going to play this out, and we can kind of go through it, you know, stop and break stuff down, and we can kind of get the understanding of what we need to do first, and then um, then we'll go into the actual um, writing, uh, drafting of the document. Okay. Well, first, I want to point out the fact that if you scroll back up, <clears throat> look how it starts out, and remember how the Constitution starts out. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion. Um, and this is all done and closed up at the end. And it's the purpose is to form a more perfect union. The state's signatory to the present convention desiring to provide a greater extent for the respecting of last wills. That's the same thing. It's just like wording. Okay. Now, before we get on to the first article, like I pointed out to uh, Lord here before uh, you came on, King, is that this ar first article starts out with each contracting party. Now, this first very first part rebuts that by mentioning last wills and by establishing an additional form of will. Now, if you're adding an additional form of will, I remind you, we are not to take away or add unto the word of God. And it is his will we profess. So before we even get into the articles of contracting, we rebut it with his will. It is not a last will. It is not a first will. It is the will, his will to do his good works. And that needs no signatory, no com commercial compensation. So as we move forward from this point on, in form, the will here and after to be called an international will, which if implemented would dispense to some extent with the search for the applicable law. See, we're not lost. We're not we're not looking for the law. We're not here to destroy the law. We're here to fulfill the law because we already know the basic foundation of law. Honor thy father which art in heaven, honor thy mother in earth, and love thy neighbor as thyself. Honor other all prophets. This is what tells us that all religions are the same. They seek the same thing of do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Right there. That very first part defeats everything after it. If they want to implement it, then we move on. Otherwise, this is the summation of the peace treaty. What is done is already, already done. There is nothing new under the sun. The peace treaty is that which is already here. Now, I did a video earlier and I spoke about Daniel 8. In verses 23 and 25 in the King James Version of the Bible. And if you look at that, it talks about the prince of darkness and the prince of princes. And one is the son of per perdition, one is the son of man. And when we look at those three verses, you'll see the very last line says, destroyed without hand. And that's talking about destroying the devil's works without hand. In other words, we're not going to write shit down on pieces of paper because we don't need to. That's the dark sentence. That's the dark sentence on the white background that they expect you to read in form and fear. That only comes to life if you let it. It cannot perform actions itself. It has to invoke those actions through another man that believes what's on that paper. So we can destroy all of their codes, rules, and regulations without hand. Because in beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. We're not supposed to add or take it from. Peace. Um, I was going on, I was on your site earlier, and I came across the, uh, the memorandum of, I'm going to pull this up, so we can share this screen. Um, memorandum of obligation. No, 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 not that one. Um, yeah, that's oh, yeah. full of and discharge under the Tradings with the Enemy Act. And why would we use that? Because we're not an enemy. They're treating us as an enemy by calling us a debtor. 
owe no man anything. Again, the basis of a treaty. You don't owe man, any man anything because you take care of your business here and now. You don't say, well, I'll owe you in the future. That's not the way it works. We're told that we're supposed to show our prosperity and abundance. Like the weary traveler that comes to our door, we're supposed to give him everything he needs, regardless. And then if need be, send him on his way the next morning. But no expectations of anything in return. We're supposed to give freely what was freely given. This is the true peace treaty. No documentation is ever needed. This is why they have you register at the motels, hotels, um, casinos. Um, you have to register. That's the rent or lease agreement when you occupy a house as a tenant because a landlord isn't occupying it. So you're the tenant in lieu of known as a lieutenant. See, I live in his house, the house of Jacob with the surname of Israel. I, You could never make me homeless. This is just a box that somebody else calls a home when, in fact, his home is my home and it's called Mother Earth. And I live in Mother Earth because I'm only transitioning through it until I go back home, home. So everything that, that we adopt, we're just adopting with the intent to mend, ratify, and sign. That means somebody's got to eventually come to the table and sit down with us face to face. That's the next step. If you don't agree with what I've adopted and made amendments to in the public forum, then you have to rebut it by, hey, you like that? Yeah, that's I right. Yeah. yeah, memorandum of innocent sojourn. See, the Lord shall preserve thy going out from this time forth, or going out and coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Why does he do that? Because the land shall not be sold forever, for it is his. And we are sojourners and strangers with him. That means everywhere we go, it's that footprints in the sand. When you see only one foot, one pair of footprints in the sand, it's not because he left you. It's because you got weak and weary and he's carrying you. He's never left you. So who can say that they can demand a passport upon he who owns all of the land? And they're trying to sell you the concept that you got to buy a passport so you can leave some fictional border. He didn't say the land of Israel is mine. And he preserves the, that going out and that coming in from this time forth. And that land, shall, he said, the land is shall not be sold forever, for it is mine. This is the same thing when Satan came up and said, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to create my own, create my own peace. And he reached down and he picked up a handful of dust. And God said, uh, uh I am the creator of that dust even. He created all there is, even Satan. How could create? How could Satan possibly create anything greater? How could you then be fear of something that is a dark sentence from the Prince of Darkness on some piece of paper? It's all the indoctrination and the fear. <clears throat> so, if you're going to draw up these documents, make sure. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. You know how put some stink on it, put some fiat on it. Yep. Re bring it back to the word of God. Because that's what's that's what perfecting an instrument is. Hmm. See, there's a doctrine called Supreme Doctrine. And, and, and see, we know we can't be perfect. So we have to accept the fact that we can make it um, better. And in so doing better, we, we plan to make it as perfect or as near as may be. And that's the Supreme Doctrine, as near as may be. Now, we know there's an error on the record, so we have to correct it because we have an obligation to make it as near as perfect as can be, to create a more perfect union or to form a more perfect union. They use that verbiage themselves in the Constitution and in perfection of instruments. It's a matter of qualifying the phrases, 
making them perfect. I got something I can show y'all um, for it is um, somebody been showing me some terms. I sent them to you, um, Lord L. Um, it says record means any item, collection, or group of information about this is under um, what is this? 45 CFR 5B1. It says records mean any item, collection, or grouping of information about an individual that is maintained by a department including but but not limited to an individual's education financial transaction medical history and criminal or employment history and that contains his name or identity number symbol or other identifying particulars to. assigned to an individual such as a finger or voice print or photograph when used in this record means only a record which in the system oh, of records. Oh, my fingers in there. <laughs> you want to you want to share you want me to you want to share the screen Lord L? Uh, yeah, 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 go. Let me see. So, let me see. I found some um somebody shared some um unique share some statues. Oh shit, what I do? Do y'all see this? 45 CFR 5B1 definition. It says access means available of a record to a subject individual. Click on subject. Yeah. Thank you. A subject individual means that an individual to whom a record pertains. And in all of those records, there's two indispensable parties. One is the actual record keeper or record, the one that's supposed to maintain those records, and that's the United States because all of their commercial runs under 48 CFR 52.212-5. That's commerce. Everything is acquisitions, okay? The other one is us. And we're unnamed because they're not using the proper style name because it's known to be a person, a legal fiction. And every time we step up and support that legal fiction, that's whom the record pertains to. When, we make, when, we, make, when we make clarification as to who that record uh, pertains to is actually the person and you are the um, indispensable party to the record. Shows that you're not actually connected to that record until after somebody else created it. It wasn't your creation. So could I, so in the, you know how in the probate court, they say you can use your family Bible and bring down with your name in it? Yes. That, yes. Is, is that a way to say that this is the record that we keep and Correct. this is the law that's associated with the record? Correct. And that's why we surrender that person, which is the state person still, and then by surrendering it, we capture it. We have to capture it from the state, which is simply ordering that certificate of live birth and the birth certificate, getting the receipts and the envelopes and, and making your, your banker's acceptance to that. And by doing so, you're going to revert the assets like old girl was talking about, collecting up all the credits that are established on that Social Security account and reverting the interest as capital to you and the commercial obligation back to the United States as the primary account holder. Now they're the trustee and everything has to go through them first and foremost. Now you have your proper diplomatic channels of notice and anybody that wants to give a notice of suit has to find out from the United States if it's a valid access 
to be su pseudo. See, she, she said something. Like that. She said something like that too. That's why. I'm, that's why I might. I'm gonna try to send it to both of y'all. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, it's it's a matter of taking it out of that minor's custody because the state is the minor. See, they have to, in order to get um, federal funding from the, the government, they have to deposit funds into a general account. And the way they do that is through Social Security and FICA and all of your fines, fees, and penalties because those are volunteered. Oh. So they're gifts. So they're gifts to them, and then they make the deposit. So even your bank deposit without a uh, qualified banker's endorsement or a qualified signature, they're given a blank endorsement, so it's a gift. So even those are deposited into a general account, and then the federal government will match those accounts. That's the only way the state gets funding. So let me ask you about down here, Lord. No, no, but I was just going to say, if you wanted to finish up the statute, and because um, I wanted to get back into the uh, to the will, you know, I mean, that's the most important. That's the topic of the night. That's what it was, uh, you know, trying to concentrate on. Okay, let me stop sharing my screen. No, I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying, no. If you wanted to finish up those what you was um what you was building on, then I was going to go back to the will. Well, I was going to ask a banker's acceptance. Is that just you? drafting up an affidavit and attaching that to annexing it to the birth certificate it's more like a uh senate document number four uh 43 contracts payable in gold but instead of paying making them payable in gold it's going to be a, a drawdown credit account you're just going to um transfer the credits that are established through that social security and transfer them to a drawdown credit account credit account is that the irrevocable letter of credit? Correct. Okay, so the banker acceptance is the irrevocable okay, letter of credit. Right, and see what you're doing in that process is you're taking the, the certificate of title from the state and you're creating a certificate of trust for the United States. They're two different things. Certificate of title has to develop, ha has to come from a, a trust. And so all the, all this time it's been operated without a proper trust. It can't, it can't actually operate under the public trust with 300 million beneficiaries. It's impossible. Wow. So we have to, we have to actually capture it, like I said, and then surrender it with forgiveness and then merge and reorganize under the new name. Huh. So we're going to take that capital name that's on the Social Security card and we're going to put it in the proper name or re revest it into a faith-based union that I'm going to do. It, it's going to, the renaming is going to be Keith Orton Little FBU and it's already internationally recognized. So they have to accept it. Okay. I've got you. All right. <laughs> Let's get into the wheel. Y'all wanted, wanted to build on anything else? Because actually, I'm gonna, um, I was gonna close this one out as a step, as a segment, and then come back in on a, on another segment, and then just deal strictly with the will. So, so actually, you know, if y'all just want to kind of, um, you know, build on whatever other things you want to, if King, if you have some other things you want to build on, and kind of, um, you know, get out the way, and then when we come back in on the next session, um, you know, I want, I want to deal strictly with the will. Okay, I want to show y'all this statue because somebody showed me this as relating to owner. It's under uh, 31 CFR 1010.605. This is stuff that I was looking at trying to... Uh, you see, oh, you see this? Oh, relax. Is this what you're talking about, Keith, right here? Can y'all see this? 
Okay. Controls in any manner the election of a majority of the directors or individual exercising similar functions. And that's exactly what we're doing. We are people exercising similar functions. That's the plenal potentiary powers of being able to operate your own government in entirety, your own education system, your own public welfare, your own health system, your own insurance, if you need it, all of it, including the banking. This is foreign bank. You see these banks, this central bank, they're all known to bank with foreigners. That's the, they don't bank with each other. That's right. the only one they can bank with is foreigners. Right. And then it says, too, for the purpose of this definition, members of the same family shall be considered to be one. The term same family means parents, spouses, children, siblings, uncles, aunts, grandparents, grandchildren, first cousins, step cousins, step siblings, parent in law, and spouses of any of the foregoing. Each family member of the same family has an ownership interest in a foreign bank must be identified if the family is a owner as a result of aggregation that the ownership interest of the members of the family in determining the ownership interest of the same family, any voting interest of any voting interest of of any family member shall be taken into account. Yep. And that's every everyone in every family because eventually they will have an interest upon age of majority. So already they have a vested interest and that is in their parents in protecting them so they can maintain that election of voting when they reach that age. That's the main primary care of the children is that age of majority. When they see it's a parent's, it's your mom and dad's discretion to determine what that age of majority is. Some people have children that reach the age of majority at the age of 15 and can go out of the world. Some people have children that can't reach the age of majority until 28. Some never reach it because they're mentally blocked. It's up to the mom and dad to make all of those discretions. And when mom and dad are competent enough to, to discern their own children's talents and capabilities, they can educate them to go forth in strength in those talents and not rather trying to force everybody to maintain the same level of the same kinds of talents known as reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's the fallacy. See, our real interest is in the inherent um, knowledge Let's see, let's see. There was one more. Testamentary capacity. A testamentary capacity refers to the ability of a person to make a valid will. Most states have both an age requirement, usually 18. A mental capacity requirement. To have mental capacity, the testor must have the ability to know the nature, extent of property, the natural objects of her property, the disposition that her will is making, and the ability to connect all of these elements together to form in a, a coherent plan. And that's a state plan. Correct. Now, again, we want to talk about this will here because if, if it's a valid will, it should be uniform with his will which is already stated and everybody agrees is a valid will to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Okay. So to the disposition of that will is by reason and logic. Every, every father passes on his inheritance to his children. That's by reason and logic. It's natural instinct to pass on what you have to your family. That's why they speak of family. By reason and logic, you can defeat all probate. All they talk about a valid will. Well, what's this valid will that you're talking about? Can you 
can you explain this? Because if it's not his will, then I don't think it's valid. Because if your will is known as a legal will and testament or last will, that's adding or subtracting from his will, then I can't accept it. So again, anything that places any kind of commercial value on a will for their probate reasons nullifies their reasoning to even interject with what my will is. None your business. None your business. Okay, let me see. I think there's maybe one more statue. So I looked up, you remember that code 18 USC? One six um twelve twelve I mean um uh, one twelve now it said that that has the same meaning as this under one sixteen and this this is what's funny eighteen U S C section one one six female genitalia mutilation this, well, so this, was that was that one one that was that one 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 six that's one 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 six, but one one twelve. Um, can you go to one twelve real fast? Uh, let me see. I was doing misappropriation of property and service. There you go. I scroll down and um, it says that. Oh, uh, let me see. Hold on. I think. Here it goes. Missed the one. It was one 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 six. Oh, one 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 six. Shit. Yeah. I'm about to say. Oh, you're right. I missed that one. So let me go back to this. It's one 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 six. One one one. Yes. Protection of inter in internationally protected persons. <clears throat> okay. See that state account is a minor account and they get to instrumentalize it how they want for like i said the the matching of funds but what that does is when they put in funds into that general account now the federal government has already agreed to match those funds so it creates a debt off the united states so when we cut that account out and make sure that everything goes through the primary account it has to hit the federal account first before any funds are dispersed anywhere now it's not only not creating debt, but it's preventing debt anywhere. So we closed the metal account. So the action to serve, we, we, all of that go on to the, all that stuff get annexed to the birth certificate? Yeah, it, what I did, This is in regards to my uh, companion. She's a uh, she was a uh, school teacher, so she was a public education. So she had this Iowa Public Education Retirement uh, Fund, and we went and ordered her um, birth certificate from the uh, Vi Bureau of Vital Statistics. Right. And so when we did, we got. We ordered both. We ordered the certificate and the certificate of live birth. So, wow. we got, so we got the the birth certificate itself from the state, which is which is using the red congressional franking. And then we got the certificate of live birth, which is the hospital statement of live birth from the county registrar who used a printed stamp, which is the county uh, congressional franking privilege. They each sent a receipt. Now the owner, the spoliated owner is in custody of receipts that the commanding issue, the commanding officer issued and in receipt of the certificate of live birth and the birth certificate. So we attach everything, including the envelopes, but we're not going to attach them in original form. We're going to copy everything that way. When we attach everything, they're on full sheets. We can bind the edge and make it book form. Now it's a publication. And everything is attached and cannot 
later on be detached or mistaken because some, somebody removed a staple and took a sheet out and then put another staple in. Ain't going to have that no more. Nope. So now we do the banker's acceptance on the back, which is stating my faith-based, under my faith-based union is how we're doing it. Okay. He's my companion. I'm her trustee. I'm internationally recognized. And then I do a banker's accepting using basically um, biblical code and stuff, um, as well as some of their their language. Joyce, a true private civilian as the actual creditor with clean hands, in surety capacity, with inherent right of subrogation for redemption in equity, does seek through release of funds to clean all accounts with the return of rights, titles, and interests of all real and personal effects, and hereby states the intent herein is not to avoid or evade any actions, but to correct the record of the grammar of the appellation of the name to be absolute heir in honor of her creators, void where prohibited by law. The true appellation is as follows, full colon stop, capital J, lowercase O-Y-C-E, hyphen, capital A, lowercase N, and then hyphen, and then military style of her last name is all uppercase, military script. Joyce, being beyond the age of more than 18 years, does have and hold a will in life and is of sound mind and body competent to make choices of her own discretion. Joyce does have and hold durable power of attorney. In fact, her companion in life, Keith, is her keeper in earth and entrusted with her life. As Joyce is retired and returned to full private capacity, she will no longer operate in personal capacity and requires the removal of all private data elements from the public probate records de novo, specific to certificate of live birth, da 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 da. And then we write the terms and conditions on what the value is, um, which we still have to work out yet. You know what? Everything you were saying, this lady said she went into court. And they said, she, the first she said, you don't want to be the trustee. She said, I'm a civilian. And they looked up. And then they said, who are you? She said, I'm the surety. Yep. There's co-sureties. Now, if you stand up as surety and you're here to perfect the record or improve the record, guess what? That other co-surety... He better know that law as well as you do. He better. Because if he trips up and shows his incompetence or negligence, he embarrasses the entire legal community because some incompetent minor child just stepped up and accepted age of majority and removed all of the powers of attorney and said, ah, his will. She said that the judge looked up at her. She was... That's why I got to get y'all this, this stuff because the stuff that you're saying, she's saying it. And she actually, some of the stuff that I'm listening to, what you're saying now, she's saying in the video, in the audio. So I'm going to try to get this to y'all. If I can't get it to y'all tonight, I'm going to try to get it to y'all tomorrow. I'm going to figure out how to uh, get this um, drive. Um, you got to compress it so I can send it. Okay. Well, think about it, guys. Christ laid his down, laid down his life as surety for the rest of man, right? Right. And then it tells us to follow his way, right? Right. So if we are following his way, we are supposed to, just like I said before, adopt. We're supposed to adopt all creatures and stuff. We're supposed to step up as surety to do that. You can't adopt things as beneficiary. You've got to at least be trustee or grantee. And that means one case or another, a surety. She said, be the surety. You, some about not being a trustee, just be the surety. So, um, all right, Lord L, I got one more thing so that we can go over 
And then, yeah, we can get into the trust. And I think it's important to go over this before we go over that. That just to give you all some food for thought when you go in this. Um, CFR section 100. Point, I mean 1002.0 <laughs> misappropriation of property and service. <laughs> misappropriation of property and service. The following are prohibited: obtaining and exercising unlawful possession over property of another with the purpose to deprive the owner of the property. Obtaining property or service offered for sale or compensation without making payment or offering to payment. Obtaining property or servicing services of services offered for sale or compensation by means of deception or a state of past, present, or future facts that is instrumental in causing the wrong transfer of property or service or using stolen, forged, expired, revoked, or fraudulently obtained credit cards, or paying with the paying with negotiable papers on which payment is refused. Conce concealing unpurchased merchandise on or about the person, about the house or consent of the seller, or paying less than purchase price by deception. Acquiring or possessing the property of another with knowledge or reason to believe that the property that the that the property is stolen. <laughs> the regulations contained in this section apply regardless of land ownership on all lands and waters within the boundaries of the uh, area administrated by what is that pres presido trust that are under the legislative jurisdiction of the United States. What is a Presido Trust? Click on it. It'll tell you. A Presido Trust, and trust means the wholly owned federal government corporation created by the Presido Trust. Act. The Presido Trust Act. So I just thought that was interesting to go over. So... <clears throat> so would it be that they that they had misappropriated the property due to the fact or did we miss the up misappropriated on the basis of the fact that they um misappropriation of property as it related to law due to the granting of the mother given um granting of the birth certificate to them and then it was the funds got misappropriated to the yep. state right because see everybody's going it tells us in the biblical scripture we're not to honor a earthly father and we know that the father may be the seed but there's an interim person in there known as mom and mom in fact is the next of Kin. We're actually supposed to be claiming mom's estate. That's the maiden voyage. We already have the father's estate. Okay. That's all I got. So when you're ready, let me go to the next step. Go ahead. Yeah, all yours, brother. Right, peace, 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 peace. Uh, from segment one, uh, you know, in the temple, <laughs> sun, planet, moon, and stars. Um, you know what I mean? We got Keith Little and King L. Bay in the building tonight. And uh, we're going to close this out. We're going to come back with segment two. So um, on that note, I'm going to say peace. And um, I'll see y'all in a minute. Peace. Peace. peace.